Hello everybody. So welcome to the presentation of the Impunto solution for SAP in the area of finance, in the area of automatic invoice processing. So we want to show you the product Bistu Validator, which is an ergonomic tool for the SAP workflow. And so in this demonstration, we see in the complete handling of the invoices, in this case, invoices without any references to a purchase order. So we start and uh, you see the business workplace, the standard business workplace of SAP. And if we click on the workflow item in the in inbox we see all the active work items all the processes the invoice processes we are uh, included so uh, have a look on the next screen so we can select some things we can select for example the objects and attachments with a double click the viewing tool is started and the archive document will be shown um, this is a specific um, in punct of viewer of course you can use your standard SAP viewer in this case this is not critical in this area. So on the left side we see a short description, relevant information about the invoice, for example with the barcode number and with the invoice items and so on, customer number. And now with a double click on the work item, the business validator starts. This is a direct integration to the business workplace container where all the data with SAP are handled for. So on the right side you see the uh, archived document. This is the scanned image in the secure area uh, of uh, your archive system for example and on the left side you see the relevant data outcoming from an OCR process and uh, in the background process we analyze all the relevant data we compare the, uh, the data about the vendor different criteria with uh, bank connection and so on uh, and web numbers and so on and of course we are reading some relevant information we are reading the invoice date the reference number we are reading the invoice positions the amounts and the prices of course and so on the wets all this stuff is uh, recognized by the OCR. So um, here in this example, um, of course, you can select another vendor. If the OCR process was not so sure and identifies uh, the wrong vendor, you can select another one. Typical in the SAP uh, sense, you use the F4 search help and you can look for another vendor, which is the right one. So uh, in this case, we identify the correct vendor. Now we switch over to the image. So you can zoom in, you can zoom out and so on and you can compare the OCR values on the left side with the original data from the image. So in this case we identify from the doc type it's a vendor invoice and uh, we also identify the invoice date. You can switch over, you can zoom into the, the right area to the image and you can compare these value and on the other term for example we have a payment blocked and um, if we have some relevant data in the SAP system in the master data then we identify the payment term or Automatically, in this case, we choose uh, a term which is relevant for this invoice. So the next functionality is a very easy way to transfer data from the image to a, to a wide field on the left side. For example, uh, we, we need a value for the text number, then you go into the field with the text number and you go on the right side to, the, to your image and click directly on the number and then the values are transferred into the field of the text number in this case. This is very easy to handle. You can use a single click, you can use more clicks. Um, uh, we call this mechanism a multi-data entry. So on the next tab, we see the invoice items. So via the OCR process, we identify the several invoice positions and with the tax, with the amount, with the quantity, and so on. In, in this case, we have an invoice without any relationship to a purchase order. So we have to split out the costs. We have to design the cost and the cost center, for example, who is paying for what in this invoice. And so you see with a single drag and drop mechanism you take one or more invoice position and via drag and drop you switch over to the arrangement area where you can split off you define the cost center your project and so on or you define the new allocation split up uh, some invoice items and so on you're very flexible in the design you see it over there and uh, once again it's very important so this is um, an arrangement. This is not booked in this in this status of the invoice. So uh, this is a design for splitting of the costs. 
and now we are going uh, forward for the next step. So on the next tab, we have the possibility to write some comments. This is also very important that we implement a non-deletable comment history. This means if you write a comment, a private comment in this in this area, then everything will be stored and will be archived also, and even your comments are not uh, deletable by yourself. And on the, in the other case, we have also automatic comments outcoming from the SAP system, for example, if we have some purchase auto entry, some history and so on, then we get an automatic text inside the common history. So we switch over to the last tab called stamps, and this is very, very individual uh, to your process, uh, in the, which way you handle the invoices without any relationship to purchase auto, for example. In this case, we need only two stamps, two uh, persons to have to sign, but it's very individual, for example, to include several persons uh, with the right to sign, or it's uh, vendor dependent or country dependent, foreign country, for example, or we need one stamp for the treasury mechanism and so on. So for each invoice, at least we get an individual figure of the, of the stamps, of course. So uh, a short break. Um, the four buttons um, above, we press the reject button to see several reject reasons. To uh, reject the invoice, for example, if we have a missing currency or we have uh, a missing or wrong delivery date, for example then you are able to press the reject button and the invoice is not longer in your organization. Of course, in the background, we have the mechanism inside SAP and within the, the workflow that we have a complete history of these, of these steps. Also, if you reject an invoice in this area. But in this case, uh, we do not want to reject the invoice. We accept it in this in the status, and uh, so we put our first stamp. Uh, depends on the authority, depends on the rights in your process in your in your company. So after we finish the task for this work item for this step, we press the done button and switch over once again to the business workplace and we see in this demonstration we send the work item to the same person so uh, we are just the same person with uh, different roles in this in this demo so you see the entry has been changed you see several additional information for example you were requested to check the invoice this is another term when we start so with this uh, we want to split this demo in two parts please have a look on the second part and follow the process completely. Thank you. Bye-bye.